Hey there, Adam here. Today I'm going to quickly and efficiently show you how to add tags to a page. Uh, the first thing to note is you cannot add tags to a page that is not inside of a database. So if that's what you're trying to do, you can't do it. So hopefully that, <laughs> that may have been your uh, question. And there, you got your answer now. Uh, but if that's not what you're looking for, here's how you actually add tags to a page that is living inside of a database. So let's just create a new database first. We're going to do backslash database. Let's do it as a full sub page. It'll take us to our database. So this is going to be a tags database. All right. And you see we have three little spots by default. So let's call this one the first tag. And we want to tag this one also with the first tag. And then we'll do this one as a second tag. And then you're literally just going to click on this and first tag and create, and then you can tag this one with the first tag, and then you can create a second tag with this, create. Uh, you can also open the page and change the tags up here. So just for uh, clarity's sake, let's open this full screen. You're gonna see that a page that's inside of a database has properties at the top. Uh, pages that are not inside of a database do not have properties up at the top. So that is, Sort of the big difference. Uh, my recommendation is anything that's not a home page should probably live inside of a database so that you can tag it. I that that will mostly solve your problem if you're asking how to add tags to a page and you're trying to do it just sort of in this general menu. Just create a large overarching database. Uh, you can always remove it from the database later if you need to. So that's how you add tags to a page. You just have to have it inside of a database. It will not work otherwise. Uh, but that's really not a problem. You should be doing that anyways to get a good structure going for your pages, uh, especially if you're trying to set it up as a wiki or some other sort of searchable type uh, file structure. So honestly, it's just good practice. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.